Welcome back to the channel guys. I'm JC, j and &E Eclectics. I'm here with Victor Pena, CEO and founder of OmniPrint International. And today we're gonna learn all about this DTF printer. If you wanna find out how it can add value to your business, stick around. I've done a little bit of DTF myself. I've got the OmniPrint 330TX Plus. I do one sheet at a time. I am my own manual slapper but I have been checking this out in your shop and why don't you tell everybody exactly what this printer is doing. Super happy to have you here. Super Thanks. happy to show you what we got. We're always like really focused on what's the new stuff, how we can bring value to our customers and I'm happy to show this for you, right? So this is our newest DTF printer and this is a roll to roll printer. What does that mean? It means that we're loading a roll in the back. It's gonna feed all the way through, through the printing through the powder application, and then through the heating here, and then it's gonna roll it back up, all right? So the main difference here between what we're doing with the free jet is that you have to feed the whole roll through versus the sheet fed that the, the free jet can print, right? Okay. And the free jet is DTG and DTF, both, right? right? The intention here was to give somebody a DTF solution that they can start off a little bit less expensive than you would for with DTG and DTF capabilities. So that's what we did here. Okay, so a couple things there, a little bit less expensive, which means a smaller entry point for a lot more people. What are we talking here? Pretty much 13 grand. Pretty 13 all grand in. all yep. in. Yep. And now this, for me, I'll, I'll do a sheet at a time for a customer for, or if they want a, a specific sleeve or a neck tag, I'll do that on my one sheet. But now I get people who are like, hey, JC, can you knock out 25 sheets for me? This is something for, for a, a business owner or an entrepreneur who is doing DTF at a whole larger scale. Yes, if you think about it, if you're going to do multiple designs of DTF, then doing it in a roll is more cost effective, right? Because then you have that load and unload time, and then it's gonna apply the powder and bake it all in one shot, right? But you wanna be able to do more quantity, or you also wanna be doing like either print for yourself or print for others. Right. So that you can have kind of, yeah, exactly. So you, you're doing fulfillment for film and then you're doing where people, maybe they have a heat press at home okay. and then they want to start doing their own transfers, right? One thing to think about JC is that, for example, if I load the entire piece of film, I want to do at least the minimum amount of prints okay. because I have this, the amount of roll that you have to feed through the system. I want one t-shirt. You're going to waste a whole bunch of that film putting it all the way through exactly. for one print. Got yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. So if, you, if you're going to do one film or one print, uh, you might do it, for example, printing just the image, but then it's going to be super hard to, to feed it in and, and all that stuff, right? So you got to keep that in mind. Also, with DTF, you know, just like anything, it's a tool in your tool bag. Yeah. Uh, you're going to do the kind of images that are like vector images, clean lines. You don't want to do like stuff that's, uh, trans that has transparencies where you need that super soft DTG feel and all that. Uh, it's just for you to do DTG and DTF, you have to invest in FreeJet or an i2 right. uh, and go up from there. But the idea is I want to have enough products where people can get in wherever they are in their business journey, right? So yeah. sometimes 10 grand is where you're at. So it sounds like uh, Omniprint is the Alfred to all of our entrepreneurial Batmans, right? <laughs> yep, You're you giving go. us each of the additional things for our toolkit. So we've got, I checked out the roll in the back and the front, and then I am a manual shaker or slapper. There's a button here that says slapper, which I think is hilarious, <laughs> but that's actually what it does, right? So the powder's getting loaded through the top here, the brushes are releasing it into the bottom, and then it's shaking or slapping the film to cover the ink in that powder. Exactly. And then in the oven here, this is where the magic is happening. It's baking that powder, which you guys make in house, correct? Yep, yep. All right, why don't you tell them about the safety certification so on that too? It, it's super important guys. So first I'll show you guys, check it out. This is where the stuff is, you know, cooking on the way out, right? So you get a little close up, that'll be good. One thing that's important when it comes to all of the materials, right? Especially the inks and everything. We have it all CPSIA certified, which means it's child safety, um, it means like eco-friendly stuff. You're not going to have any issues with it when you go to your customers and when they ask you for these certifications and these data yeah. sheets and all that. We provide all that. So it's super important for you guys to think about when you're looking into any sort of printing method. I don't care if it's sublimation, screen printing, whatever. 
look at the stuff that you're buying when it comes to chemicals, who's making them, and also like what kind of certification they have for safety, right? Because it'll be important. Once you start getting these bigger accounts, they're going to be asking. And that's another thing. If you guys are already familiar with the 330 TX or TX Plus, that bulk ink system has carried over to this DTF printer yeah, as well. Definitely. So we're still saving the turtles. And even though we got a much longer print here, right? Yep. Um, so we're still running off that bulk ink system. So customers that are already familiar with products are going to love that that's continuing on. Yeah, and the reality is bulk ink saves you money. It right. saves you money. You can buy bigger containers. We're, you know, doing it as, as much as possible to give that cost per print and, and keep lowering that, right? So that's, like that. that's, that's Lower the cost per print for us, more money in our pockets. Yep. Perfect. There you go. Should we print something? Yeah, let's do it. All right. So I'm going to send the job over here. Now, does this printer run off of the same direct rip software or? Is yeah, it so it's running off of the same color engine, just different configurations. Okay. We try to keep that all like the same. Why? Number one, it's, it's basically the best color that you're going to get. That's why we have all these awards. We really focus on the color quality and you yeah. can't get that with cheap rips and all that stuff. Right. And then number two, let's say you get an I2 and then you get a DTF like I don't, I don't want you guys to struggle with retraining and all that when it could be very similar use, right? So okay. that's how we do it. I send the job. So what it's doing is it's going to print the white and the color in one pass. And the difference is that it's printing it on the film backwards. Okay. Right? Uh, so, so mirrored image. Yeah, exactly. Because then you're going to heat press it and you want it to actually show the correct way. Exactly. So here, instead of printing the white base first, it's printing the color first. Then the white base, the white behind, base it. behind it. That makes yep. sense. Yep. And, and it's flipped around. It'll get a little noisier once we turn this on, but you'll see what this does. And then we'll zoom in a little bit for everyone to see like how it goes through the system, right? Okay. So it's feeding the roll from the back, printing it in this station. Here you have the, the powder and the application and it's slapping it around so that it gets it out, right? It gets it from where you don't have the image and then it's rolling it back up here after you cure it. So you're gonna wanna turn that on and right here and right there. It's got a go. rhythm to it. <laughs> so you see right here, you have the print coming out on the film. And then as, as it comes down, it's going to apply the powder to the fresh part of the image. And then as it's coming back up, it's going to remove the excess powder out. Okay. So while that prints, hopefully uh, everyone can hear us, but so the slapper is doing its job, smacking down costs, right? Saving yes, us money. Pretty much. As we build this roll, you could run a long print job and you could take this roll once it's already baked. That's done. That's the end of the print at this process. Yeah. So you could just throw a little tape on the end of the print cut it here and then ship off that roll. Exactly. It's directly to the customer. They can slice it up in whatever increments they're wanting based off their image. Yep. And then they can start pressing away. So you can work into fulfillment, but your production line can also be print on demand for somebody else's whole business. If they have a heat press, you can set up everything for them basically. Exactly. So I, I run everything for J&E Eclectics. We, we don't have our own brand. But what we do is print for other people. So we always get new clothing lines of people who want their own merch, uh, streamers who want their own merch, and they come out to us. But if somebody was like, you know what, I'll, I'll invest a couple thousand dollars in a heat press, but I don't know if I want to make that huge leap just yet. Having this in your shop or in your toolkit, you could help create other entrepreneurs. You could help them start their own businesses, right? Just by fulfilling orders with large rolls of film that they can cut and then heat press on whatever they want. So let's talk about the types of things that we could put the film on, right? Obviously, t-shirts. You're gonna wanna heat press this right onto the front, the back, a sleeve, you can make neck tags, all that great stuff. But I've also seen these going on hats. Yep. So that's a really big item because sometimes people don't want embroidery. They wanna print on the hat. Now I know there are platens for like foam hats and certain things, but when you get to DTF and you can heat press on almost any hat material, that's really a game changer. And another piece of value added to that business, right? So yeah, it's another, another thing tool. in the toolkit. Yep, it's another tool in the toolkit. Those are some of those things that I really love about DTF and why like, we lean on it for our customers is like those smaller prints, those harder to print stuff, backpacks, hats, you know, just 
jackets, that kind of stuff that's tough to do, yeah. uh, unless you have platens and all this stuff, you can now do with BTF. Uh, if you already have a free jet, you could do it there. Or if you're not ready to get into DTG and DTF, yeah. you can do it through these type of machines. The possibilities are endless, but people really need to do their research, like set goals for your business. Whether it's minimum order quantities or where you want to grow, how you want to scale, figure out what that is and what customer base you're trying to basically appeal to, and then look right here at what's being offered. And maybe this is the entry point for those people, right? You're just starting out, $13,000 is not a bad price to get into something that can print on shirts and hoodies and be put on hats. Exactly. Plus, you, you marry that with a nice web ordering, like our work web ordering that now supports DTF, right? Where you can say, hey, you know what? If you're fulfilling, then you could say, hey, you only have a press, I got you. Throw your orders into this live store, yep. and I'll, pr I'll print them on film and ship them to you, and you can press them, right? There's a few different ways that you can start. That's a whole other thing, that, that work software. If you're really getting serious about your business, and you don't have some kind of either order management system or customer management system, that's when people really need to look into exactly. what that looks like and, altogether. And plus, it's the next level of growing your business, right, and, and scaling. And so we'll link it for you guys on the description too if you guys need information on any of these things that we're talking about. Obviously, we want to make sure people know how to get in touch, how to, how to get trials, how to do all that kind of stuff, right. and you know, learn how to, how to grow a business. Coming from a DTG owner, I love the feel of DTG. Yeah. Everybody loves the quality. But as soon as I got onto your Creators Live and we talked about, okay, now we're adding this, the first package for DTF that came out, everybody started hitting me up for DTF. The problem is if I use my DTG printer for it, which is fine, it does great, I gotta stop printing shirts and yeah, I gotta stop exactly. printing hoodies. Yep. So you really need to think about where you're at in your business and what you want because this machine can just be set on print off to the side running while you're still doing other orders if exactly. you got more than yep. one piece you of equipment. You have other, other pieces of equipment, you come back, you check out, make sure everything's good, everything's rolling up fine, and that's all you have to be doing, right? And you say it time and time again, you want to be, you, one of your values, one of your missions is to create and grow the largest community around yep. like-minded individuals. Yep. People who want to be like apparel decorators and, and entrepreneurs, small business owners. If you didn't notice guys, like each time a new piece of equipment comes out, that new innovation, it's not necessarily about your company's bottom dollar, it's about that mission alone. Okay, I know I can reach more, more customers and help more people grow if I add more value. Exactly. So it's really a long game. It's a, it's a long game. And that's where patience comes in all the time, right? If you're short-sighted about what you can get today, this year, whatever, right. then it's hard. You gotta think like five, 10, 20 years from now. You know, we have a 10 year plan right now and we're looking at what we're doing in the next 10 years. And that's how we're operating. Yeah, and you guys, I mean, I, I for one, every Wednesday, try to get in, get on the live, get yeah. that free knowledge, yeah. because it's not really about what's quick, what's the cheat code to make you money today. Forget the easy money. If you're serious about it and you have the hustle and you've got like that hunger like we've talked about, yeah. then it's really about long-term growth. Like figure out what you can educate yourself on right now that's gonna add value to make long-term money. Exactly. So me coming here to learn about this equipment, you guys tuning in to those creator lives, right? Or watching these videos afterhand, you're adding that value for long-term growth. So use it, right? That's why we're here. That's why yeah. you're, you're giving us your valuable time and then apply it. A lot of people, they kind of sit on the fence. They don't take action. And that's the biggest piece yeah, of advice I could give action. anybody. You have yep. to take action. 100%. And, you know, we just expanded Creators Live to everyone. It used to be just like Omniprint owners, and we just did it for everyone so that people that don't even have our equipment can start getting free value out of how to get in, right? So we'll link it in the description also for people that want to join up and see every single Wednesday, every single Wednesday, 2 p.m. We're in there for an hour helping business owners with printing stuff, marketing stuff, business stuff support stuff, whatever. And that's how we're bringing long-term value, right? I want to preface, like, don't think just because you put your cash in, you buy a machine, now you're going to make all of the money. Yeah. You need to educate yourself. Take the time. I personally spent three or four months not worrying about orders. I need to learn how to use the yeah. equipment. The equipment is, it's built to do what it was built to do. If you take the time as the operator to learn those ins and outs, 
it's going to be easy money after that. Exactly. But you've got to put in the work up front. Like you've got to be willing to say, okay, this is a brand new piece of equipment. How does, how does it work? What level of maintenance or, or know-how do I need as this, the user? And what do I need to know about the software? And then, okay, I won't have to call Victor every day and say, hey, can you help me out? I did something wrong. I pressed yep. the wrong button. Learn the ins and outs. And then that's going to make your daily, you know, day-to-day -day business much easier. Plus, the, the more you invest in your education and your learning, that's what pays off more. That's the number one investment that you could do. So yeah. I have another question. Yes. As I'm sitting here and I'm looking at this roll, I'm thinking, what's the shelf life if I'm doing a mass print and I've got to box it up and set it to the side before I can ship it out and start the next orders? How long will these hold before they get to say, if I'm fulfilling that order, I'm doing fulfillment for my customers? How long till they need to, to get it at home? There, cut it, there's no, it. yeah, there's no like, like shelf life already because it's already ready to transfer. The ink's dried and cured and the, the adhesive is dried and cured, right? So there's no like, oh, I need to do it within a week, a month. You don't want to have stuff laying around too long right. because of moisture. Okay. But other than so that. So more about temperature good. and humidity, how you're storing it. Yeah, how you're storing it. You do those it. things right, it's good to go when you're exactly. ready for it. Exactly. There's no real technical hindrance in, in the chemicals that are on there. Yeah. That's going to prevent, they're, gonna, they're not going to like rot out or whatever. We did a DTF master class that we just recorded. Uh, we'll link it. We'll link it on here. Has a lot of questions that people have been asking. We'll, we'll link it there. You know, how to, how to ship it, how much to charge, what to store, how to store it. All this kind of stuff, right? That nobody in the machine world is telling you. Yeah. But we're like, all right, everything when I want, if I want a customer to win, what's all the stuff they're going to be asked to do when they're fulfilling, let's answer it. We'll link it for when that's ready and, and it'll bring some value to this video too. Perfect. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. Hopefully you see all the value that is added by this DTF printer. Thank you, Victor, for allowing me to come down to the showroom again and showing me the ins and outs of this. If you guys are running your business right now, already doing DTF, or you're thinking about getting into it, hopefully we answered some of the questions that you might have already had. Leave some more in the comments below if you've got them. Reach out to Victor or the amazing team at Omniprint International if you want to get your hands on this and catch us in the next one. That's right. And remember, subscribe to the channel, hit the link below, and then we'll see you on the next one.